This is uninstalling Linux Ubuntu or any Linux distro. It's very simple. We don't want to uninstall an operating system like we would uninstall an application. Application is a little bit different. This is what's called the MBR. Now, if you know about partitionings when you installed your Linux, uh, MBR is another partition. It's a 100 megabyte file at the beginning of your Windows installation disk. MBR is important because this is what manages your boot process. After BIOS begins booting from an, a hard drive, now that hard drive has to display information about where partitions are located, what's on those partitions, file formats. So MBR is Windows boot program. It allows Windows to boot. In Linux, it's Grub. M MBR is replaced by Grub. So what we have to do is we have to go in and get rid of Grub, delete Grub, and reinstall MBR. And that's a pretty simple process. Right here is a, a table that kind of shows you what kind of data is stored on an MBR. Uh, in your partition editor, you'll notice your MBR file is a small 100 megabyte file right in front of your Windows NTFS installation partition. It's always there. Windows is a very aggressive operating system, so it needs to be first partitioned on your hard drive. However, there is another little mini partition called MBR or Grub, whichever platform you're using at the time. Our goal to uninstall Linux is just to literally replace MBR. So the MBR and the Grub menus tell your operating tell your hard your your bios your 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 computer where to boot from do they want to boot from the first partition the second partition you'll see right here this uh 90 gigabyte healthy partition uh windows is having a hard time you know deciphering its file format and this and that that's because this is a linux partition it is not an ntfs windows partition and windows plays nice with Linux but they don't like it they want you to use Linux so they don't like to talk to it so all we gotta do is delete this volume if I delete this volume Linux is gone problem solved bam the only problem we have left is the boot process if we're if we want to be able to boot straight into Windows without having to mess with grub or anything this is what we do so here I've deleted the file and Linux is gone. So you should be somewhat familiar with creating a partition. If you use the Windows Wubi installer to install Linux, this isn't the process for you. You're going to actually want to reopen the Wubi Windows installer and uninstall through the Wubi Windows installer. This, uh, this process is super easy. However, it can seem very confusing to the beginner because you've never heard the word partition or you've never heard of MBR or Grub or anything like that. You don't need to be a master of Grub or NPR at all. All you have to do is understand that it's there and understand which one is which. Grub is Linux version of MBR. That is the bootloader for Linux. Grub will allow you to choose between booting Windows or Linux. Windows MBR will not allow you to choose Windows Bootloader will never allow you to choose another operating system. They want you to use Windows. It's very simple. They're a giant corporation. They want to make money. They don't want competition. It's that simple. In the next video, I'm going to show you the full breakdown live camera view of how I uninstall Linux. So when I go to uninstall Linux live in the next video, you're going to see a live camera view of me booting Windows through a recovery disk using the command line to fix MBR because Grub has replaced MBR with a format that Windows doesn't like so well. So what we need to do is we want to wipe out the Grub, wipe out the little GUI that gives you the option. We want to go right back to where when we turn our computer, it just boots straight into Windows. So the next video, because of uh, aspect ratios, I can't squeeze them all into the same video go ahead and follow the link check it out see what's going on and enjoy learn be prepared for failure be prepared for catastrophic catastrophic failure because that's how you learn i learned how to do this by installing windows and linux several times all right in fact you kind of have to make a thing of it learning how to install uninstall move these operating systems around so 
follow me into the next clip guys and we'll get started